and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, It's a regenerating system. It's a renewing system that is designed divinely to heal and regenerate itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you have a loved one or friend or family member or workmate who needs help, we are here for you on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We welcome your calls. 844-236-6010. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, if you have questions about something you may have heard about or read about, or if you have questions or comments about our Truth Skin Health products or the Longevity products, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised in the program, or if you want to join the Bright Side Ben team and help me in my mission to educate the world about the importance of a good nutritional supplement program, and if you're entre- entrepreneurially minded and want to start your own business, work for yourself, work from home, if you just want some residual income, Please head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website, and you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website for a one-time $25 fee. You can own your own business and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. If you want to purchase any of our uh, Truth Skin Health products, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. If you're dealing with dark spots, accelerated aging, dry skin, if you got those fine lines starting to appear or crow's feet starting to appear, you want to start using topical vitamin C in its fat-soluble form. And not just any product with topical vitamin C, but high concentrations of topical vitamin C, 60, 70, 80%. You want our Truth Balm and Truth Serum. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side once again. We're talking about the connective tissue, the bulk of the body. We've been talking about it for a while. We'll probably continue talking about it because in many ways, disease is a connective tissue problem. Aging is a connective tissue problem. The bulk of the body is made up of this stuff. Along with the muscle, the connective tissue and the muscle make up 70 to 80% of us. It's the beef. The beef of us, quite literally, a steak and a hamburger are made up of of connective tissue and, and muscle tissue. Connective tissue forms the scaffolding around which our body is put together, around which our body is constructed. If you could somehow remove the body cells and the water, you would be left with, for the most part, the fibers of the connective tissue. We would be made up of a kind of connective tissue skeleton. Our bones are connective tissue. So if you take out the cells of the body, you see this kind of fibery connective tissue skeleton or scaffolding upon which everything is constructed. Aging and the breakdown of the body is in many ways a connective tissue problem. And understanding how to build connective tissue, understanding how to support the health of the connective tissue is job number one for slowing down the aging process, even for reversing the aging process and for improving the prognosis of many of our chronic long-term degenerative diseases. One of the most fascinating aspects of connective tissue defects or connective tissue illness, and that includes aging, which isn't technically probably an illness, but 
one of the most interesting aspects of how our body breaks down, whether it's due to aging or due to disease, is overexpression of connective tissue. This is a result of chronic wounding. When the body, body is chronically damaged, chronically wounded, one of the things that will occur is the body will attempt a chronic repair. Connective tissue secretion is a repair process. It's a repair mechanism. This relationship between wounding and damage to the connective tissue is a function of connective tissue or connective tissue's role as uh, or connective tissue fibers role as a repair mechanism. When the body breaks down from toxicity, from sugar, from a lack of nutrition or low levels of oxy oxygen or malnutrition, connective tissue will come to the rescue as a repair mechanism. Connective tissue will act as a patch to patch up damaged tissue. And therein lies the clue to understanding many, if not most, long-term chronic degenerative diseases. It's overexpression of the repair mechanism. And I don't want to say overexpression because it really is functional. The body's just not used to being chronically damaged this way. So long-term expression of this repair mechanism, which we call fibrosis, is a major, major mechanism in, uh, in the appearance of all chronic long-term degenerative diseases, or at least most long-term chronic degenerative diseases, and that incurs aging. If you hear the word fibrosis in your disease, as in uh, pulmonary fibrosis, you're dealing with this repair mechanism. You're dealing with A, or first, long-term chronic damage, B, long-term chronic repair. That's what fibrosis is. It's, it's expression of this repair mechanism in a long-term fashion, and it leads to the formation of fibers. In the lungs, it's called pulmonary fibrosis. In the uterus, it's called uterine fibrosis or uterine fibroids. In the breasts, it's called fibrocystic breasts. If it happens in the skin, sometimes we'll call it keloids. Keloids are, are overexpression of connective tissue fibers. Sometimes the formation of these repair fibers is called sclerosis, which technically means hardening. If it occurs in the heart, we call it atherosclerosis. It's a leading cause of heart disease. It's a leading cause of death, hardening of the arteries, atherosclerosis. This is nothing more than a repair mechanism. By the way, the cholesterol and the calcium, or, or the cholesterol that the doctors attack, are really a manifestation or a function of this repair mechanism. Cholesterol deposits will form, and plaques will form, and fibers will form in the heart when the vessels are damaged. The vessels get damaged from malnutrition. The vessels get damaged from sugar. The vessels get damaged from toxicity. The vessels get damaged from long-term hypoxia or low levels of oxygen. The damage leads to more hypoxia. The damage leads to more toxicity. And you get a vicious downward spiral. The point being the cholesterol and the fibers and the plaques that cause the atherosclerosis are a repair mechanism. They're not a bad guy. The cholesterol there is not a bad guy. It's there to repair. It's there to build. It's there to, uh, to correct damage that's caused by a lack of nutrition, that's caused by a lack of oxygen, that's caused by toxicity. You can begin to see why doctors don't do anything for us. You can begin to see why the medical model doesn't work. If it happens in the spine, if this hardening happens in the spine, we call it amyotropic lateral sclerosis, which is just a fancy way of saying that muscles aren't getting fed. That's what amyotropic means in, uh, due to damage, due to sclerosis in the spine. Lateral meaning the part of the spine that's damaged or that's sclerotic. Amyotropic lateral sclerosis is just a hardening of the spine. Same mechanism, same device. It follows damage. The damage is caused by a lack of nutrition. The damage is caused by uh, accumulation of toxicity. The damage is caused by lack of oxygen. Hello, this is all stuff we can take care of. No wonder why doctors can't do anything, because all doctors do is radiate, poison, and remove or extract or butcher through surgical procedures. They can't do anything for any of these collagen or fiber or fibrosis health challenges. If you have cystic fibrosis, genetic defects result in cellular damage which the body then attempts to repair with the secretion of mucus and, and fibers and collagen fibers. Can you begin to see a pattern here, you guys? There are the same mechanisms underlying all of the various diseases. This is the, the bottom line message of the bright side. The same fundamental breakdown mechanisms occur underneath all of our various diseases and the only hunters. Back 
back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We have lines open for you. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. This is your common sense nutritional health show. You're going to hear things on this program you don't hear on any other program. These are ideas that are, they don't come from the internet. They don't, this is not common, co this is not common knowledge, even though it's common sense. And what we're doing here is we're, we're simplifying the health and the disease process. And there's many ways to do it. If you listen to your doctor, you listen to uh, medical professionals, they'll tell you it's very complicated. There's all these different special diseases. The only people who care about special diseases are specialists because that's how they get paid. As far as the disease process goes, the same basic fundamental mechanisms underlie all health challenges. One of the most fundamental of these, of these basic mechanisms is fibrosis, the formation of fibers, the formation of excessive connective tissue. Why is there the formation of connect, excessive connective tissue? Not because the body's making a mistake, not because the body is screwed up, because the body's attempting to repair chronically damaged tissue. Under, order, under healthy circumstances, for millennia anyway, we didn't have chronically damaged tissue. We didn't eat sugar. We didn't eat a lot of digestive toxicity or digestive toxins. We didn't have leaky gut syndrome. Under uh, evolutionary conditions, the only things that would go wrong with us is, or the only uh, health challenges we had were famine, starvation, and uh, getting eaten by a tiger. The diseases of modern civilization are long-term chronic degenerative diseases that, uh, that are the result of long-term chronic damage to the body and at least partially manifest by a long-term progressive hardening of the body. And unless we understand this mechanism, we're going to be bamboozled by statin drugs and by anti-inflammatory medication and by surgical procedures that remove fibrotic organs and fibrotic tissue and generally the toxic, awful, anti-humanity strategies of the modern medical model. One of the most egregious, horrible health challenges associated with fibrosis is a health challenge that doctors are mystified by. They have no idea what to do with and they come up with all of these ridiculous strategies to deal with it and yet we keep suffering and, and the, the, con uh, the condition keeps uh, proliferating and we get more and more people suffer from this issue. It's called Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is the result of a secretion of a particular type of fiber, connective tissue fiber, called amyloid. And doctors are, and drug companies have all these strategies for dealing with Alzheimer's disease, none of which work. Now, uh, latest is a pill that will prevent the accumulation of amyloid. This is a uh, reading from, uh, from the journal Neuron just came out uh, yesterday from Texas Children's Hospital and Johns Hopkins University of Medicine. Taking a pill that prevents the accumulation of toxic molecules in the brain might someday help prevent or delay Alzheimer's disease. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You want to take a pill to stop the fibrosis, which the body is, is using to patch up damaged connective tissues. So now you're going to take a pill to stop it. According to uh, the author of this study, Dr. Huda, Zogby, professor of molecular and human genetics and pediatrics, quote, common diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and dementia are caused by, uh, in part, by abnormal accumulation of certain proteins in the brain, unquote. Well, what's the reason for these abnormal, and they're not abnormal, abnormal accumulation of certain proteins in the brain? They're not abnormal, they're repair mechanisms. The reason for this is damaged tissue caused by sugar, malnourishment, lack of oxygen, and uh, other toxicity. So anyway, these fibers in the brain, they're called amyloids. And they're, uh, this is another common way the body breaks down. It's called amyloidosis. You may have heard of this. Amyloid is derived from immune cells, antibodies, which themselves are a manifestation of inflammation. What else do you need to know, doctor? I mean, just go to your basic biochemistry book, doctor. Amyloid comes from immune cells. That means you've got an immune problem. That means you've got a, some kind of attack. That means you've got some kind of damage. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to understand how this goes. 
the connection between amyloid and chronic damage and the subsequent attempts to, uh, by the body to repair itself is called amyloidosis. And it shows up throughout the body. When it's in the brain, we call it Alzheimer's disease. Rheumatoid arthritis, Marfan syndrome, Ehlers-Danlos disease. These are all examples of this type of connective tissue fibrosis, amyloidosis mechanism. It can happen in the heart. They call it the rheumatic fever. It can happen in the skin due to autoimmune issues. That's called scleroderma, hardening of the skin. And if it happens in the brain, it's called Alzheimer's disease. And even if you don't have a blatantly obvious disease, the aging process itself can cause the accumulation of these fibers as the body attempts to patch up chronically damaged tissue. You may not have a blatant frank disease diagnosis, but just long-term aging involves hardening of the body. We get hard as we get old. We get tough as we get old. This is why young meat is more soft and tender than old meat. Young hens are more tender than old birds. Veal is more tender than ordinary beef. Mutton has to be, has to be slow cooked in a stew because it comes from old sheep and it's it basically inedible if you don't stew it because it's tougher than the meat of lambs. This is part of how we age. We get fibrotic, we get older, we get uh, hardened. We get uh, less flexible, less resilient. This is a metaphor too, by the way. It happens mentally, it happens emotionally. We get hardened mentally and hardened emotionally. It's what old man's disease is, as I call it. When our brain gets hardened, or our mental nature, I should say, gets hardened. We're not flexible. Lack of flexibility, lack of resilience is associated with aging. Flexibility, which is a connective tissue phenomena, is associated with youth. The take-home message here, folks, is fibrosis is a common mechanism of disease. Fibrosis, and I'm including amyloidosis in this uh, as fibrosis, it's a common mechanism of the aging process itself. And once we understand this, we will not be tricked into the sneaky medical model and the biochemical bonehead practitioners who mislead us with diagnosis, with diseases, with useless pharmacological protocols that never do anyone any good because they never address the causes, which is this long-term chronic damage that leads to the body's long-term chronic repair, which we call fibrosis, which we call amyloidosis, which we call connective tissue health issues, which we call the aging process. I got a letter yesterday from uh, Melbourne, Australia. Quote, I am a very new distributor, I assume longevity distributor, and a chiropractor of 30 years experience. I discovered last night that an old friend of mine had been diagnosed with amyloidosis in the past year, has a pacemaker implanted, and has just finished a second cycle of chemo. I don't know why they're on chemo for amyloidosis, but maybe that's what they do in Australia. They give you chemotherapy for the fibers. I guess drug therapy is chemotherapy. Anyway, she continues. He's understandably ill, fatigued, and extremely despondent. This is, this is what the medical model does to you. It makes you ill, fatigued, and extremely despondent. This man is in his mid-60s. He's been a personal trainer and a gym junkie. Not necessarily a good thing, by the way, if you don't know what you're doing with nutrition. Could someone please advise me of the likely biochemistry of this diagnosis and the underlying deficiencies? I do not want to offer counsel in such a serious case without understanding the biochemistry of this condition that is apparently rare. It is not rare. And if you, if for you guys listening who understood what I just said the last 10 or 15 minutes, you could write back and answer this, this uh, chiropractor. Anyway, I'll continue when you come back from our break and take your calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. We are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. My friend Melissa Galladay is going to be doing, uh, she does uh, health lectures or uh, health phone calls, I guess they are, uh, every Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., uh, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. She does two of those. Those are at specific standard time, 10 a.m. PST and 6 p.m. PST. Dial 408-638. 0968. That's 408-638-0968. And then you have to punch in meeting code 579-044-9276. That's 579-044-9276. And I don't know what she's talking about tomorrow, but she does them every Tuesday, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. She is a nutritional pharmacist, and she's right in line with everything we talk about here on The Bright Side. So it's like another little episode of The Bright Side, uh, except Melissa Galladay's take on it. Melissa and uh, Rebecca Kozak, 
who is her assistant, I believe, or her down the line. Uh, yeah, she's part of the longevity team, and I've known Melissa for 15 or 16 years now. Anyway, that's uh, every Tuesday, and uh, you can call 408-638-0968, meeting ID 579-044-9276. Our number today, 844-236-6010. Get your calls here in just a minute. So anyway, I got this letter from a doctor in Australia, Dr. Susie Hearn. She says she's a new distributor, a chiropractor of 30 years experience, and she's got a friend who uh, has this condition called amyloidosis. He's been treated with chemotherapy. She wants to know who can advise her of the likely biochemistry of this diagnosis and the underlying deficiencies. She doesn't want to offer counsel in such a serious case without understanding the biochemistry of this condition. Kindly, Dr. Susie Hearn. Well, if you've been listening to this program for the last 15 minutes or 20 minutes, or if you've been listening to this program for any length of time, you know the answer. And this is what I wrote back to her. Hi, Dr. Susie. All fibrosis, including amyloidosis, should be regarded as the body's attempt to repair chronically damaged tissue. Use the healthy start pack, eliminate food toxicity, apply digestive repair strategies, including taking the longevity ultimate enzymes with meals, the ultimate essence daily, uh, on a daily basis every day. Uh, that's a probiotic supplement. Reduce sugar intake, relax the body, activate the healing system as much as possible with massage, deep breathing, and mental and emotional strategies. You guys, if you understood what we've been talking about the last 20 minutes, this makes perfect sense to you. There's no drugs that are going to help this guy. It's the body's repair mechanism that's kicking in because the body is being chronically damaged. What's a doctor going to do for this? We got to get this out of our head that when we're sick, we go to a doctor. This is a, a, a viral meme that doesn't serve human beings. It's anti-humanity, this idea that you're sick, you go to the doctor. Now, of course, I'm not talking necessarily about, uh, I'm not talking about uh, uh, emergency conditions. I'm not talking about mechanical trauma. I'm not talking about infection. I'm talking about long-term chronic breakdown. This idea that you go to a doctor to get fixed is a fallacy that doesn't serve us. The job of a doctor, at best, is to explain to us what's happening. Doctor means teacher. This is what a doctor is supposed to do, not cut us, not surgically remove things, not drug us. A doctor is supposed to teach us what's happening in our body so we can take care of ourselves. Sometimes when I'm doing a radio program, people refer to me as doctor. Some of you guys refer to me as doctor. And sometimes if I'm doing a, a national show, the guy, the host will say, oh, he's not a doctor. He's a pharmacist. Well, guess what? I am a doctor because I'm a teacher. Maybe I'm not an MD, but by the definition of, uh, of the word doctor, if you're teaching somebody about their body, you're doctoring. You're teaching. To, to be a, a doctor is to be a teacher. In any case, how is it that the body becomes so damaged that the repair mechanisms are chronically activated? Well, that's an important question, and that's what we'll continue talking about tomorrow. And then we'll also continue talking about glucosamine and these polysaccharides because they play a major role in supporting the body's connective tissue, including, check this out, including the connective tissue that nobody knows is connective tissue, unless you've been listening to this show, called the blood. Remember, all disease is cell disease. Behind all cell disease is dirty blood. Blood is connective tissue. Dirty blood is inflamed connective tissue. It's damaged connective tissue. And it's the cause of all disease. And we'll continue talking about this tomorrow on The Bright Side. Got tons of calls here. Time to hit the phones. 844-236-6010 is our number. Sarah in San Diego. Welcome to The Bright Side. Hi. What's going on? Um, so I was a raw foodist. Um, for a really long time, and um, how also, long? How long uh, is a long time? How, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, how long is a long time? Because you sound like you're 25. I'm 26. And, okay. <laughs> um, I, I'd say a long time is like five years of just okay, being really strict. Okay. Um, and I was really, really athletic. Um, okay. But I couldn't ever get any muscle whenever I was doing any of my training, and I'm tall and really thin okay. so um i started going more paleo and then i injured myself and i've got this like whole connective tissue issue from my sacrum down through my adductors and my knee and it's now you're causing... sure it's connect you're sure it's connective tissue not muscle tissue first of all or you don't know um i don't know Okay, there's probably some connective tissue damage there. But in any case, what you want to start doing is, is rebuild, uh, allowing the body to rebuild that tissue. And you do that from two directions, okay? The first thing mm -hmm. is probably the most important, but I don't want to say the most important. It's, it's as important as the second thing, and that is to eliminate damage or to reduce the, uh, the flow of toxicity into the body, okay? So first and foremost, mm -hmm. you want, from a nutritional standpoint anyway, first and foremost, you want to look for leaky gut problems, 
Look for foods that are associated with digestive issues. Look for digestive issues, look for uh, digestive health problems, constipation, diarrhea, loose stools, uh, uh, bloating, gas, heartburn. You know what I'm talking about? Any digestive health issues. Look for foods that are associated mm-hmm. with that. Fine. And don't make things up, but you got to be vigilant because some of these things go under the radar, especially if you've had them all your life. So really pay close attention. Mm -hmm. I like a fast first where you stop eating for two or three days because then symptoms will become more obvious to you when you stop eating for a couple of days. So stop eating for a couple of days, excuse me, and then uh, start eating again one food at a time and looking for problems associated with those foods. When you find a list of foods that are problematic, Then you're going to eliminate those foods. You're not going to eat those anymore, at least for a while. And then you'll have some foods you can eat. As you start eating those foods, use nutritional supplements that repair the gut, especially cartilage, especially bone soup and cartilage components like hyaluronic acid, the glucogel caps from Longevity. Um, uh, anything that anything that's got a slimy quality will help repair the gut as well. Algaes, seaweed. Uh, the the uh, Fucoid Z from Longevity, um, some herbs that have a slimy quality like Slippery Elm or Colt's Foot may be helpful for you. Mushrooms. Do you follow what I'm saying? Anything that's got kind of a mushy, mm-hmm. slimy quality to it will help soothe and heal the gut. The right, second thing you got to do is you got to treat yourself like a diabetic, and that means go as close as you can to zero tolerance for sweets and refined sugar, and then minimize grains and flour and bread and all those kinds of foods, especially if they have gluten and you have gluten issues. The last mm-hmm. thing, uh, the, uh, the next thing I should say, is make sure you're uh, uh, relaxing the body as much as possible. It heals when it's relaxed. In conjunction with the relaxation, you want to do muscular movements, but this has to be in conjunction with relaxation. Overtraining can be a problem. So doing muscular and res- movements, and res- that is what, what is called stretching, which isn't really stretching, technically speaking, but what they call stretching, as well as resistance training, but carefully balanced with rest. Don't overtrain. And use lots of Mm -hmm. nutrition after you work out. And by lots of nutrition, I'm talking about protein, number one. If you have a history of veganism, you could very well be under-proteinated. Or you may have a deficiency in enzymes, by the way, that help your body process protein. So you want to make sure you're using enzymes with protein supplements as well as apple cider vinegar. They all go together. Um, I'll finish up when we come back from our break. Okay, Sarah, so don't go. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will return with your phone calls, more of your phone calls, right after this. Don't go away. We are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. My friend Melissa Galladay is going to be doing, uh, she does uh, health lectures or uh, health phone calls, I guess they are, uh, every Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., uh, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. She does two of those. Those are at specific standard time, 10 a.m. PST and 6 p.m. PST. Dial 408 638 0968. That's 408 638 0968. And then you have to punch in meeting code 579 044 9276. That's 579 044 9276. And I don't know what she's talking about tomorrow, but she does them every Tuesday, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. She is a nutritional pharmacist, and she's right in line with everything we talk about here on The Bright Side. So it's like another little episode of The Bright Side, uh, except Melissa Galladay's take on it. Melissa and uh, Rebecca Kozak, who is her assistant, I believe, or her downline. She's part of the Longevity team, and I've known Melissa for 15 or 16 years now. Anyway, that's uh, every Tuesday. And uh, you can call 408-638-0968, meeting ID 579-044-9276. Our number today, 844-236-6010. Get your calls here in just a minute. So anyway, I got this letter from a doctor in Australia, Dr. Susie Hearn. She says she's a new distributor, a chiropractor of 30 years years experience, and she's got a friend who... uh, has this condition called amyloidosis. He's been treated with chemotherapy. She wants to know who can advise her of the likely biochemistry of this diagnosis and the underlying deficiency. She doesn't want to offer counsel in such a serious case without understanding the biochemistry of this condition. Kindly, Dr. Susie Hearn. Well, if you've been listening to this program for the last 15 minutes or 20 minutes, or if you've been listening to this program for any length of time, you know the answer. And this is what I wrote back to her. Hi, Dr. Susie. All fibrosis, including amyloidosis, should be regarded as the body's attempt to repair chronically damaged tissue. 
use the Healthy Start Pack, eliminate food toxicity, apply digestive repair strategies, including taking the Longevity Ultimate Enzymes with meals, the Ultimate Essence daily, uh, on a daily basis every day. Uh, re- that's a probiotic supplement. Reduce sugar intake, relax the body, activate the healing system as much as possible with massage, deep breathing, and mental and emotional strategies. You guys, if you understood what we've been talking about the last 20 minutes, this makes perfect sense to you. There's no drugs that are going to help this guy. It's the body's repair mechanism that's kicking in because the body is being chronically damaged. What's a doctor going to do for this? we got to get this out of our head that when we're sick, we go to a doctor. This is a, a, a viral meme that doesn't serve human beings. It's anti-humanity, this idea that you're sick, you go to the doctor. Now, of course, I'm not talking necessarily about, uh, I'm not talking about uh, uh, emergency conditions. I'm not talking about mechanical trauma. I'm not talking about infection. I'm talking about long-term chronic breakdown. This idea that you go to a doctor to get fixed is a fallacy that doesn't serve us. The job of a doctor, at best, is to explain to us what's happening. Doctor means teacher. This is what a doctor is supposed to do, not cut us, not surgically remove things, not drug us. A doctor is supposed to teach us what's happening in our body so we can take care of ourselves. Sometimes when I'm doing a radio program, people refer to me as doctor. Some of you guys refer to me as doctor. And sometimes if I'm doing a a national show, the guy, the host will say, oh, he's not a doctor. He's a pharmacist. Well, guess what? I am a doctor because I'm a teacher. Maybe I'm not an MD, but by the definition of, uh, of the word doctor, if you're teaching somebody about their body, you're doctoring. You're teaching to to be a, a doctor is to be a teacher. Any case, how is it that the body becomes so damaged that the repair mechanisms are chronically activated? Well, that's an important question, and that's what we'll continue talking about tomorrow. And then we'll also continue talking about glucosamine and these polysaccharides because they play a major role in supporting the body's connective tissue, including, check this out, including the connective tissue that nobody knows is connective tissue, unless you can listen to this show, called the blood. Remember, all diseases sell disease. Behind all cell disease is dirty blood. Blood is connective tissue. Dirty blood is inflamed connective tissue. It's damaged connective tissue. And it's the cause of all disease. And we'll continue talking about this tomorrow on The Bright Side. Got tons of calls here. Time to hit the phones. 844-236-6010 is our number. Sarah in San Diego. Welcome to The Bright Side. Hi. What's going on? Um, so I was a raw foodist. Um, for a really long time, and um, how also, long? How long uh, is a long time? How, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, how long is a long time? Because you sound like you're 25. I'm 26. And, okay. Um, <laughs> I, I'd say a long time is like five years of just being okay, really God. strict. Okay. Um, and I was really, really athletic. Um, okay. But I couldn't ever get any muscle whenever I was doing any of my training, and I'm tall and really thin okay. so um i started going more paleo and then mm-hmm. i injured myself and i've got this like whole connective tissue issue from my sacrum down through my adductors and my knee and it's now your shirts sure connect your shirts sure connective tissue not muscle tissue first of all or you don't know um i don't know Okay, there's probably some connective tissue damage there. But in any case, what you want to start doing is, is rebuild, uh, allowing the body to rebuild that tissue. And you do that from two directions, okay? The first thing mm-hmm. is probably the most important, but I don't want to say the most important. It's, it's as important as the second thing, and that is to eliminate damage or to reduce the, uh, the flow of toxicity into the body, okay? So first and foremost, you want, from a nutritional standpoint anyway, first and foremost, you want to look for leaky gut problems, Look for foods that are associated with digestive issues. Look for digestive issues, look for digestive health problems, constipation, diarrhea, loose stools, uh, uh, bloating, gas, heartburn. You know what I'm talking about? Any digestive health issues. Look for foods that are associated mm-hmm. with that. Fine. And don't make things up, but you got to be vigilant because some of these things go under the radar, especially if you've had them all your life. So really pay close attention. Mm-hmm. I like a fast first where you stop eating for two or three days because then symptoms will become more obvious to you when you stop eating for a couple of days. So stop eating for a couple of days, excuse me, and then uh, start eating again one food at a time and looking for problems associated with those foods. When you find a list of foods that are problematic, then you're going to eliminate those foods. You're not going to eat those anymore, at least for a while. And then you'll have some foods you can eat. As you start eating those foods, use nutritional supplements that repair the gut, especially cartilage especially bone soup and cartilage components like hyaluronic acid, the glucogel caps from Longevity, 
um, uh, anything that anything that's got a slimy quality will help repair the gut as well. Algaes, seaweed, uh, the the uh, Fucoid Z from Longevity, uh, some herbs that have a slimy quality like slippery elm or colt's foot may be helpful for you. Mushrooms. Do you follow what I'm saying? Anything that's got kind of a mushy, mm-hmm. slimy quality to it will help soothe and heal the gut. And the second thing you got to do is you got to treat yourself like a diabetic, and that means go as close as you can to zero tolerance for sweets and refined sugar, and then minimize grains and flour and bread and all those kinds of foods, especially if they have gluten and you have gluten issues. The last mm-hmm. thing, uh, the, uh, the next thing I should say, is make sure you're uh, uh, relaxing the body as much as possible. It heals when it's relaxed. In conjunction with the relaxation, you want to do muscular movements. But this has to be in conjunction with relaxation. Overtraining can be a problem. So doing muscular and res- movements, and res- that is what, what is called stretching, which isn't really stretching, technically speaking, but what they call stretching, as well as resistance training. But carefully balanced with rest. Don't overtrain. And use lots of nutrition after you work out. And by lots of nutrition, I'm talking about protein, number one. If you have a history of veganism, you could very well be under-proteinated. Or you may have a deficiency in enzymes, by the way, that help your body process protein. So you want to make sure you're using enzymes with protein supplements as well as apple cider vinegar. They all go together. Um, I'll finish up when we come back from our break. Okay, Sarah, so don't go away. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will return with your phone calls, more of your phone calls, right after this. Don't go away. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I'm here to tell you about GCNTelecare.com, a team of board-certified doctors assisting you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Within 15 minutes of registration, care your family can afford. Revolutionizing the healthcare industry, virtual consulting, providing diagnosis of non-emergency medical issues by phone or secure video on computer or smart mobile devices. GCNTelecare.com, virtual care anywhere. Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich? Working harder than ever, but getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare? Having someone else raise your children? With our opportunities, you can start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss, work from home, and live a happier life. At Be The Boss Network, you'll find hundreds of work-from-home opportunities that you can literally start today and be earning money as soon as next week. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss. Get out of the rat race. Work from home. Go to freedom106.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 106.com. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You be the boss. Go to freedom106.com. Paid non attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24 7. Call 800 261 0937. That's 800 261 0937. Why be held hostage by your wireless carrier for two years? What if you had no contract, no activation fees, no hidden costs, tracking, tracing, harvesting customer data, or draconian gimmicks? All on America's largest 4G LTE, GSM, and Sprint networks. Introducing PIX Wireless. Activate your Sprint, AT&T, or unlock GSM phones with PIX and choose from an arsenal of monthly plans or build your own. Starting at only $2.99 per month. Get connected now. Call or click 1-866-205-9513 or PIXWireless.com, spelled P-I-X Wireless.com. Pick PIX and get connected today. You're fired. According to the Small Business Administration, 75% of small businesses plan to eliminate jobs or reduce workers' hours to part-time. You're You're fired. fired. According to Gallup, the unemployment rate recently jumped to nearly 9%, and the underemployment rate hit a staggering 17.9%. You're You're fired. fired. One out of three young adults and one out of two recent college graduates are underemployed. Hello, I'm Keith Abel, a pharmacist and a home business entrepreneur. In 2011, I became one of those statistics myself. Instead of looking for another job in corporate America, I joined Dr. Joel Wallet, the Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy. We're creating steady incomes for ourselves and would like to show you how to do the same. 
If you want to supplement your current income, replace your income, so you don't have to become one of the statistics, then give me a call toll-free at 866-257-3105. 866-257-3105. You're fired. Don't wait till you hear those words. Start creating an extra income today. 866-257-3105. How confident are you in your food storage? If it was all you had to rely on, would it sustain your family? Hard times, good times, or any time, New Mana Storable Food is the proven superior choice. Learn for yourself what happened when one man ate only New Mana Storable Food for an entire month. Online at PowerPrepper.com. That's PowerPrepper.com. Experience the New Mana difference. America made food stores I love to eat. Yum! You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. 